Hi, uh, this video is about uh, how to configure uh, X Sys 2511 access server. So basically access server is used to configure and manage uh, different devices from one centralized location. So as you can see in this figure, the 2511 router is used to manage, uh, and, conf uh, manage and configure two router and two switches. So I will uh, first configure this terminal server here. Uh, through this uh, PC uh, using the uh, com port, I mean console port here, and the com port of the of the PC. Uh, there are a couple uh, before I configure just some basic um, router modes of the configuration command. Um, as you can see here, um, uh, when you enter the router, you are in user executive mode, and then uh, you end up at the router prompt here. Then uh, when you enable it, uh, it will. Um, it, you can go here in the privilege execute mode and then you have to uh, enter here from go to um, to go from user to privilege mode uh, you can set up the password uh, so only the designated people can uh, go to the privilege mode and then you can go in the configuration mode by entering the config t command and you can uh, do the configuration and uh, in the configuration uh, there are different specific con uh, specific con configuration mode as well. For example, interface, sub-interface, and line. Um, this is the configuration I'm going to use here. Uh, just so, first one is the enter. You go in the global configuration mode by entering the config T. Then you give the change the host name here. You set up the enable password. Uh, here I'm using the simply C. Uh, then these are the line VTY. Um, zero to four and then you assign the password to those uh, line um, and then this is the interface loop back here uh, it is basically uh, virtual loop back um, or logical interface you can think and it usually never goes down then you configure the IP address to the Ethernet port um, then line 1 to 16 these are the async lines they are used to they will be used to connect to the two um, to different devices in our case two router and two switches and these are the kind of um, associate async line to different devices so since I have two router and two switches um, I'm using the uh, logical interface here that is a, a loopback uh, IP address and then 2001 is the first async line 2002 is the second third and fourth so this is the configuration to um, for the access server some of the testing com command I'm going to use is the router I mean control shift and six to to um, to break the session and uh, uh, yeah so I mean to break the session um, when you enter so session it will display all the open sessions um, and some of the command that I'm going to use um, disconnect connection if you want to break the connection and show line it will show you which session are active and um, clear line it will uh, clear the session and uh, once uh, we configure it you can uh, either uh, go you I mean you you can also uh, use the X uh, uh, access you can also uh, access this terminal server from remotely from your office PC so in this case what's going on here is the you are sitting in your office, uh, you are connected to corporate network and there is a, some laps on server you have it has a two NIC right so once you connect to the uh, lab server uh, using your corporate network then using the second part of the NIC you can tell it to this terminal server and manage these different devices so that's what go I'm going to show in this lab okay so uh, here I am connected to the terminal server and when you initially boot up the 2511 you will end up with the initial configuration dialog mode I don't want to do that so I just say enter no uh, okay so now I am at the router prompt here I enter the enable command and I, I say ok show running config here basically there is no configuration here at this time 
and now to configure I just copy and paste um, my configuration I show you earlier so I just copy all this thing I will go on the router mode and I <coughs> I, I have to enter the config key here uh, and then uh, paste all the configuration so basically that's pretty much I mean you connected I mean you configure the, your access server and now um, Ethernet IP address is 10.1.23 and it shows the interface is up now so now I can sh uh, show running config okay and all commands are there so now I just say okay first I want to connect to the router one so I enter the router one and and now I am connected to the first router here and I can see okay what's going on in that router so show version so it can tell me that um, it's using this Cisco 2500 uh, software and uh, 20 it is at AS2511 RJ router and so on and now to to go back to my accessor I say okay control shift 6 and then X so now I'm back to my terminal server I can see the show session and it tells that okay I have one active uh, session with the router one let's say now I want to uh, so if I go back here my diagram now let's see if I want to connect to the switch now here so I say okay just enter the command switch one and now I am in that switch now so I can see what's going on in that switch by sh the show version command here and I can tell okay it is a 2950 uh, switch uh, with the version this software release and, and so on um, this is the Cisco uh, switch ID and uh, again when I uh, if I go back to the accessor I issue the command control shift 6 and then X and now I can see okay so session now I have two active session here if I want to connect the both of them right in this case I say okay disconnect and you say okay do you want you sure I say yes okay and then I say okay disconnect to and it's okay yes so I think that's pretty much um, regarding uh, configuring the access server now let's say if I want to test out the by using the telnet right so I go here I issue the command uh, run cmd and then uh, now I'm at the command prompt here and then I say okay uh, telnet 10.1.1.2023 uh, that is the IP address I'm using and then um, since we ain't use the command password C so uh, I use the password and now I am in terminal server again so you can also access the same access switch from by using the telnet and then you say okay enable uh, password C again and then see here you say so session uh, there is no session open here right now but then again you issue the command let's say this time I use the connect to switch number two and now I'm in the switch number two and then enable uh, show version and it tell me the this um, this is the second switch C2950 and it's all details okay so uh, that's pretty much uh, I covered the configuration these are the some of the testing command uh, as I sh I mentioned control shift 6 the next uh, so session display the existing session uh, and then there is a I also show the disconnect connection there is a show line and clear line let's just go over that one real quick so here uh, show line it show me the uh, there are like uh, 1 to 16 async line here starting from first 
uh, and those are the ASIC line that used to connect to different Cisco devices. Sometime if you want to clear the line, uh, I just using a control see here. Okay, if you want to clear the line, you say okay. Sometime if you are not able to connect, you can you need to have to you need to have uh, to clear the line here. I let's say I want to clear the line four. So I say okay, clear line in ask to confirm, and I just say yes. Okay, so hopefully uh, this will help you. The the main thing is the is the configuration. Uh, you just copy and paste here, and um, you are good to go.